Hi everybody, welcome to Silver Butterfly Science and Beyond. Here is the giant swallowtail that hatched. And you can see that the tip of his wing is kind of cracking a little bit, but that won't hurt him. I think that Liburn Park will be the perfect place to release this butterfly. So, let's get going! Okay everyone, so we are here at Liburn Park, and this is an awesome place to release our giant swallowtail, I think. I've seen some tiger swallowtails around here. There's a bunch of them right there, mud puddling, and so I think that this is a perfect place to release the giant swallowtail. So let's see how it goes. The wind is making is making the camera shake. Oh, sorry about that. But he's right there on the leaf. Seems to be enjoying that sunlight for the first time out in the wild. And there's a tiger swallowtail right there flying around. So I was hoping that he would join the party with the tiger swallowtails. But, but he's made up his own mind and he's decided to do a different thing. So I think he's probably going to be there for a while. So there he is right there. He has his wings half closed. Wow, there's a suitable spot for him. Oh look, he's opening his wings back up.
to so the butterfly went over there and there he is on that plant so he's a little lower than he was at first actually much lower he was all the way up there on that tree and he decided to go over there okay everyone so we released the giant swallowtail and it flew and landed on that plant that I showed you earlier so um, I went away for a little while and came back and I couldn't see it. So the butterfly blends in super good with the leaves. So it's possible that that butterfly did not move at all and that it simply just closed its wings and that we couldn't see it anymore because of that. Um, then later on a huge loud train passed by. So I hope it didn't scare the butterfly away, but it possibly could have scared it away because that butterfly is very sensitive. And here's a, um, here's a male. Eastern Tiger Swallowtail right here. So yeah, the butterfly is quite sensitive. Like when when um we went to the park, I had the butterfly in the car, and we went to the bank. And I didn't. I was still on the outside of the car when I came to look at the window and see the butterfly was doing okay. It started fluttering around. And so it's a very sensitive butterfly. If I lift one of my hands up while the butterfly's on the net, it'll start flapping its wings. It's a really really sensitive butterfly. And so that huge um, that huge long train passing by, no doubt that it scared the butterfly away. So I'm hoping that it didn't, but it possibly could have, could have. And so I'm going to, um, let go of this tiger claws right here. So for just in case you think that butterflies die, you touch their wings. That's not true. They actually say that because they have a lot of scales on their wings. As I said, I mean, not the previous bill with the giant saw tail, but the bill with the giant saw tail. Well, we need some scales out of it, then. Staying on my hand. There we go. <laughs> that area that all the tiger saw tails were in, they all left the area where they were mud puddling in. And there were so many butterflies in one group over there. Um. But yeah, now if you look over there, there's not even a single butterfly over there. So they started to mud puddle over in another area, and I tried to make an attempt to ca capture one of the butterflies, or hold one in my hand, but uh, of course they just flew away when I did that. And now, I don't really see many tiger swallowtails over here as there used to be yet earlier. So there's another area, a little a tiny pond where there's some water flowing and sometimes butterflies land over there to mud puddle so I was thinking that they went over there but when I went over there there wasn't any butterflies and one did fly around and land in that area and I successfully managed to capture that one and that's the one that I just showed you me releasing so I'm gonna go back over there and see if there's any butterflies so this is the small puddle or pond over here. I mean, it's like kind of like a big puddle, but I kind of like to call it a pond because it does have some wildlife in it. And I don't know if just because it has some wildlife in it that that means that it counts as a pond. I mean, I don't really know what to label it as, but I just call it a small pond. And over here, sometimes butterflies mud puddle over here because it's wet and also around it is wet too. Like, there's a little skipper butterfly trying to find out where it should land. And they, it has these plants growing in the middle. Right there. And this plant right here, I don't know if this is an invasive species, like a tropical plant right here. I mean, I thought it was a tropical plant, but I don't know. Because I think I've seen this inside Cali Garden before. So I'm not sure this is tropical. But here it is. I'm going to take a picture and find out what kind it is. Okay everyone, so I'm back and I google what kind of plant that is. And they said it's called a broadleaf arrowhead. And they said that it is an invasive species. So I was right about it being an invasive species. So here I see a little bit, a lot of small butterflies. Oh, and look at this area over here. You take a look, there's a lot of beautiful white flowers. See the little flowers right there? And I think that they are the flowers of 
um, black berries. So anyway, let's come, let's leave the park. And this place is really relaxing to be because of the water flowing and it's just so relaxing to listen to. So we'll come here another time and let's hope that the giant fall told us to get out in the wild. And we're going to say goodbye today. See you next time. Hopefully when the second Christmas emerges.